Hey up YouTubers, how are we? Simon B here. Hope you're keeping safe out there. Welcome back to the channel. How are we all doing? Sunday morning. A little bit chilly this morning. Where are we? We're up in the lakes again and we're on the um, WRF. Last week's video, I probably should have done really an introduction, shouldn't I really, of um, my new bike. You're probably thinking, how many bikes has he got? Well, just a few. Not a very expensive bike. Um, as you know, I started trialing about 12 months ago. So I've had a go at green laning before, and I did it about, what, 15 years ago? And it frightened me. I was frightened of falling off. Didn't have many, much experience off-road. So when I bought myself an RMZ 250, I was frightened of it. So I got rid of it. So I've never been done anything like this before until I got the WRF. So since trialing, started trialing 12 months ago, I've gained quite a considerable amount of experience and more confidence in riding off-road of um, how bikes work and um, things like that. So that's why I bought a WRF. I bought something that um, I could do a bit of green leaning with and come out in the middle of winter when I'm not riding and it's not really nice to ride on the bikes. Green lanes in the, in the Lake District, I know because I used to have a Land Rover and I've done most of them. You know, I've been doing this for years. This is, you know, last, last week was the, I think the third time I'd been out on it. Um, this is the fourth time I've been out on this WRF doing uh, the green lane, so I'm no expert and um, and I don't possess to be one, you know, I just go out of a bit of that, a bit of a fun and uh, ride my bikes. If you fancy a bit of green laning in the Lake District, stick around and stay tuned. things you've got to be quite fit always remember to close the gate What are we doing on the Sunday morning? There's actually another lane here now, just on this bit there, goes back background and goes to the other side of the um, bow. Oh, look at that! We've got Dow Crag right in front of us, behind that tree is Old Man of Coniston. What have we got here? Russell Valley, isn't it? Yeah, Russell Valley. Oh, look at that.
into the middle of nowhere. Yeah, so all these um, all these green lanes you can come on, it's it's a bit of a, a dark art secret in a way, because I don't want every Tom, Dick and Harry coming on it. All the information's out there on the internet, um, all these lanes that I'm riding today are all available, they're all there on the um, Cumbria website, Cumbria County Council website, I'm sure it's Cumbria County, County Council, and they're all detailed, everything's there, it tells you everything about it. Um, but you have to go and look for it, or you can go and join TRF, the Trail so Fellowships. They'll provide you with the maps of, um, of the whole of the UK. So yeah, National Desert, close the gate, if, it, if it's locked, you know, if you come in on these lanes, the gate's locked, make sure you lock it, do it properly. Um, you know, the farmer owns this land, and this is a road that comes through it. So, Gone. I'll be gone. I must stop this bike and stop it by the main switch. I wonder if anybody's got one of these, if that's going to wear out and it's going to not be very good. If anybody um, knows about it, comment down below. That would say. Now, our last one, when we came out and we stopped in the middle of a, of a track, it's just up there in front of us. I think I've pointed out that from when we were over there, this way, you could just see this little bit of um, trail.
thing about uh, off-road riding is you get in in your head is to look ahead, even though you know you do it on the road. But when you're looking at obstacles, obstacles, and um, you could say on the no, I can't do that. So you have to look at something and then look past it, which is something that I learned with um, driving. A little bit difficult sometimes because you have to switch your switch your brain different and um, it's one of those things that if you wherever you point your front wheel and turn your throttle backwards and you put more power on your back wheel's going to follow and it's it's easy said than done sometimes really because it doesn't always work like that it usually does, but your brain is telling you that's not what you want to do. So it's, um, it's a bit weird. You know, it's all learning, and um, I just wish I'd sort of um, learned a bit more of this years ago. In January of this year, I'm 52. <laughs> Some people will say it's a bit late to learn all this stuff, but um, hey, what the hell? You only live once, don't you? There's nothing wrong with that. The only problem with being, with being 50 and starting to do off road is. Um, you don't bounce the same and um, things take a little bit longer to uh, heal. That's the only thing, so yeah, you know, sometimes you're a little bit cautious, which is um, not really good, but a lot of things in it. Nobody's on. Doesn't um doesn't mix very well. It's gonna be good quite good this morning. That brake like that either on or off. No, just me, yeah. Yeah, have a good day. Roger. Well, I think we're to do that. The Russell Valley.
Uh, they're all out today. Me. Thought he was. Driven a bit too much. Turkey for Christmas. Thank you. Uh, back soon.
all these all these yows here will be pregnant. So if you scare them this time of year, you're watching clarks and farm, scare them and they bought the lambs. Our farmer won't have as much money. So you know. Just be careful then. Just be I don't know how much I'm going to get left of this camera, hopefully I might better finish this out, so another bit of green lading, as you know I'm not a professional, I've only been doing this, um, well, I've only, it's only four times I've been out on this, um, the roads that we've been out on, I'll put the, the uh, numbers down below in the um, description, so if you want to come on them you can search for them and you can look out, out for them. I thought the video was all, was all right, give it a big thumbs up, thanks very much. If you just stumbled across us again um, and you're thinking, well, yeah, I could probably watch this drivel this, this guy keeps pointing out, please click that subscribe button, uh, ring that bell, because every time I upload a video, you'll get a notification. It's 7.30 usually on a Saturday morning. New bike may be coming soon. The GS is up for sale, so if anybody wants to buy a GS 1200 TE, 15 plate, 21,000 miles on the clock, absolutely awesome condition, um, give us a buzz. But I can't tell you what um, the new bike may be. Um, I mean, it, I mean, I'm in negotiation. I haven't even rode it yet, or I even rode one of them. So anyway, if you're out there, ride safe, be safe, keep safe, and as they say, see you soon.